This week, 60 Minutes explores the potential dangers and possibilities created by recent dramatic advances in artificial intelligence. The AI market is expected to become a more than $42 billion industry this year, according to the company PitchBook. An AI like ChatGPT can learn or appear to learn based on the stuff that you feed into it. 60 Minutes correspondent Scott Pelley was given access to Google's campus in California and their AI lab in London to see their new technology and also meet with the CEO. Here's a preview. How great a risk is the spread of disinformation? AI will challenge that in a deeper way. The scale of this problem is going to be much bigger. Bigger problems, Sundar Pichai says, with fake news and fake images. We saw the potential with Google's experimental AI that creates pictures out of words. This is text in pictures. Exactly. Out. Eli Collins is a vice president at Google. You can generate a picture of pretty much most things you imagine. I don't, I'm happy to put it in a prompt if, if you've got something. Uh, let's try pink taxi cabs on Fifth Avenue. All right, pink taxi cabs. Instantly, we saw a shade unknown on New York cabs. Next, Collins gave us a first look at an AI system Google has not released yet, experimental text to video, which instantly answered our prompt, golden retriever with wings. Oh, look at that. As with Google's chatbot, Bard, this has safety filters. For example, it doesn't create images of people. It will be possible with AI to create uh, you know, a video easily where it could be Scott saying something or me saying something and we never said that and it could look accurate. But, you know, at a societal scale, you know, it can cause a lot of harm. There are deeper risks people worry about, uh, you know, which is at some point, does humanity lose control of the technology it's developing? So those are some of the far out use cases which we need to think about as early as possible and get it right. You can watch Scott Pelley's report on Sunday on 60 Minutes right here on CBS.